Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we'll discuss a question related to suicide risk factors in depressive clients. Okay, we'll start with the question. The nurse at a mental health clinic is performing a suicide risk screening on four clients experiencing depression. Which client does the nurse recognize as being most at risk for suicide? So out of these four options, all clients are diagnosed with a depression. But compared to some factors, out of these four, which client who is the most risky client who might have committed suicide? We'll just read the options first. Option 1. Divorced male client with the Parkinson's disease who has recently laid off from his job. Option 2. Married female client with breast cancer whose daughter is going through a divorce. Option 3. Married male client newly retired who is active in community outreach programs. Option 4. Newly divorced female client with a type 2 diabetes mellitus who has a study of three children. So before going to select the answer, we will study some of the points related to the risk factors of suicide. Mainly four risk factors, four group of risk factors are there. First one is demographic. We will see what are the points in under demographic. The one point is that a female attempts more, which means compared to male, females are the one who is attempting more suicide. But males completes more. That is the difference. Males are not, compared to females, males are not making more attempts. But when they will make attempt, it will complete. They will complete more. So that is the difference. Then advanced age, those who have elderly people are prone to commit suicide if they have some issues. Then uh, socio-economic extremes, which mean like uh, some clients have some very difficult extreme situation of socio-economic status. Then unemployment, that is it's a big issue, job loss or any retirement that may make people more frustrated in terms of financial aspects. Then another group factor is that health activity, health factors, which means that mental health disorders like uh, depression, then chronic or terminal illness like cancer or some chronic health issues, then history of alcohol or substance abuse. Then another group of uh, risk factors is that interpersonal risk factors of suicide, that is family history of suicide or abuse. Then uh, the person who is single, divorced, without or any sudden loss or change in support systems. Then social isolation. So the last factor that is others or miscellaneous factors that is like aggressive or impulsive behaviors. Or the people who already uh, commit suicide previously, past attempts. Then organized or lethal plan. Some clients have a very organized and their plan is very lethal like they might have gun in their hand so some kind of the severity of the plans they have organized so these are some of the main risk factors related to attempting or committing suicides especially in uh, clients in mental health illness so we'll see what is based on this demographics or based on this risk factors we will see which client is most risk or which client have more number of risk factors and uh, for committing suicide see the option one option four says newly divorced female client with type 2 diabetes and has a study of the rich children okay the first risk factor is that she is divorced then the second risk factor is that she have a chronic illness that is type 2 diabetes then the third risk factor already mentioned the question that they the client is depression have depression so in this option four we found three risk factors we will just keep it then option three married male client newly retired who is active in community outreach program okay in option three the first risk factor is he is newly retired 
then second one is that okay there is no other point but in the question it says he is also depressive so in the option 3 we found only two risk factors but there is one positive factor that he is very active in community outreach programs so that two other risk factors can be uh, can be decrease its severity okay we will just keep it this one also but we can eliminate because compared to four this client have only two risk factors and also he have one good positive factor that he is very active in community outreach programs but in option four also there is one positive factor that this uh, female she have custody of three children so that is a sign of hope then we will come to option two here married female client with the breast cancer whose daughter is going through a divorce so the first risk factor in option two is that she have breast cancer that is a terminal illness or a very serious medical problem then she her daughter is going through a divorce that is also a risk factor then she is depressive so she also have three depress uh, three risk factors so option two and option four have three risk factors option three only two risk factors we'll keep it now when we'll come to option one here the male client is divorced first risk factor then second one he have parkinson disease chronic illness then third one he ha he is recently laid off from his job then fourth complication we said that male completes more so that is also a risk factor then fifth one in the question says he is also a client who diagnosed with a depression. So in the option one we found more risk factors, approximately five risk factors. So this client is most risk for commit or make suicide. Compared to all other options, the option one or the client who mentioned the option one is more risk for commit suicide. And also he don't have any positive factors that will support him all are risk factors, negative factors only. So our answer for this question is option one. I hope it's clear to you. If you have any doubts, please mention the comment box and we will come with some more questions on the coming video. Bye-bye.